Hey, now, Tracy. we've all heard the term Facebook, but we may not know that you can use it to keep tabs on your children's personal lives, even when they're far away from home. And you're going to love this. It's so easy. All you do is create a profile and search for your son or daughter's name and add them to your list of friends. Oh. Wow. You just pick a name that's very common, and after it, you add the year your son or daughter was born, uh -huh. and they'll think it's somebody that they graduated very with. Well, cool. you can send them messages all day long. They won't even come. According to Baran and Davis, media dependency theory assumes that the more a person depends on having his or her needs met by media use, the more important will be the role that media play in a person's life, and therefore, the more influence those media will have on that person. In other words, the media shapes itself around how we accept it and use it in our daily lives. This has become very apparent in the use of social media networks such as Facebook and Twitter. Welcome to Twitter. As well as the rise in popularity of blogging. These programs are few of many which have grown and developed because of the way society accepts, uses, and in some case needs them. iPhones, Blackberries, and other phones that offer applications. Application. Downloadable software for a cell phone which brings some of the main communication and data processing options of a desktop PC to the traveler. Applications started for business use and are now widely used for hobbies and entertainment. Are becoming increasingly popular because of the accessibility of media on the go. Not only can users access Facebook and other social media from their phones, they can download applications allowing them to search for anything from finding the best restaurant in Hong Kong to viewing Gucci's new fall clothing line. Media dependency theory is also apparent in crisis situations. Think back to the last big disaster that happened in the United States, whether it be Hurricane Katrina or 9-11. Where were you most of the time? In front of the TV? Listening to the radio? Researching it online? As the situation got more serious, so did your dependence on the media, and more than likely you responded and acted as that medium instructed you to. Are you becoming dependent on media? Everyone put down your cell phone and pay attention as we examine media dependency theory by emphasizing the rise of social media networks. And we continue to follow the developing news. The suspected shooter is this. It's a day of mourning today and for it's difficult enough when we lose these brave Americans in battles overseas. It is horrifying that they should come under fire at an army base on American soil. A crisis is defined as a condition of instability or danger, as in social, economic, political, or international affairs, leading to a decisive change. The massacre that occurred at Fort Hood on November 5th, described as the worst mass shooting in history at a U.S. military base, at about 1.30 p.m. on November 5th, Major Hassan Naidal Malik, an Army psychiatrist, allegedly fired shots into the Soldiers Readiness Processing Center at Fort Hood, Texas. Soldiers in the center were processing for deployment to both Iraq and Afghanistan. The shooting resulted in 13 dead and 38 wounded. Army Live, the official blog of the United States Army, explain the Army's appreciation for the abundance of support they received during this tragedy. Just one day after the shooting, the Army blog posted the following. The flood of support we have seen through our social networking channels has been incredible. Check out facebook.com forward slash US Army or twitter.com forward slash US Army and feel free to send your thoughts. Dependence on media systems increases as a crisis deepens. It's no surprise that Facebook and Twitter have become as vital to information sharing as the newspaper and the 5 o'clock news. The sites aren't solely used for sharing thoughts and prayers, but warning the public of dangers. These are just a few of the tweets that were posted to warn the public about the dangers at Fort Hood during the shootings and lockdown that followed. If you're off post right now, don't come to base. Multiple shootings. Possible terror suspects, Fort Hood, Texas. And another, Fort Hood is locked down, seven dead, 12 to 15 people wounded. They don't know who's doing it. Be safe, people. And finally, emergency sirens going off, halo evacs, lockdowns. There's not one person walking through the streets of Fort Hood.
All right, let's get serious. There's something awful happening in our culture, a disease so powerful its existence cannot be stopped. I'm talking about drug addiction. Oh, hold on, let me get this. Hello? He did what? He went to the store to hey, oh, can I call you back? Yeah, I guess. I'm on set. Yeah, fine, whatever, do what you need to do. All right, where was I? Oh, drugs. Um, I had this whole thing planned out. Let's see, addiction, downward spiral, rock bottom. Oh, picture mail. Stacy's dog is so crazy. <laughs> he got into the trash and ate the zesty onion ring sauce. How did he even open that thing? Dogs don't have hands. You are crazy. Oh my god, there's a party at B Dogs tonight. Totally forgot about it. I've got to call Jessica and see if we're still riding together. I'll just text her. Are you going to B Dogs? So, what's your score on Brick Breaker? I'm at 23,600. Beat that, losers. Oh, hold on. Hey, Jess. You want to pick me up? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. Uh, in fact, I, I don't know why she's to call me. She doesn't have a landscape Pretty. keypad, I think. Get yeah, with the times, right? Anyway, wrap it up, wrap it up. Okay, so addiction totally sucks. It takes up all your free time. Don't get trapped and remember. Just say no. Hey, I'm done. Yeah. Everybody's all staring at me. Creepy. When you left your residence this morning, what were the items you made sure you had with you? Your keys? your wallet, and of course, your cell phone. The utilization of cellular devices are not just used for personal communication in modern day society. They are now social networking devices as well as cameras, media players, and video phones. By this technology emerging, there seems to be more evidence of the media system dependency theory than ever before. Let us describe how the media system dependency theory relates to the new smartphone, cell phone usage in America. The more the masses depend on media, the more the institutions will be reshaped, causing a demand for supply factor rather than supply and demand effect. The level of an audience's dependency is a variable on why media changes the mass belief. This means the more people rely on their cellular phones, the more their beliefs with time may change from only using your cell phone for communication purposes to downloading a Facebook application or even taking pictures to save memories. The masses are becoming more and more dependent on media in three ways. Number one is to act in a society. For example, voting demographics have severely changed since the era of cell phone use. Number two is to understand the world, to gather news on the phone. And number three, to escape the world. For instance, using a social networking tools such as Twitter or Facebook may help you escape the world we live in today. Lastly, the greater the need, the greater the likelihood media messages will be in effect on users. This means the busier you are, the more you are in need of your Blackberry, your iPhone, or your smartphone. I wouldn't call myself a social butterfly And there's not much that separates me from the other guy But when I log in, I begin to There's an online world where I am king Of a little website dedicated to me With pictures of me and a list of my friends And an unofficial record of the groups that I'm in Before the internet, friendship was so tough You actually had to be in people's presence and stuff Who would have thought that with a point and a click I would know that Hope Floats is your favorite flick used to meet girls hanging out at the mall But now I just wait for them to write on my wall If the internet crashed all across the land Or my Facebook account was deleted by the man I carry around a picture of my face And a summary of me typed out on a page Facebook, Facebook. I'm hooked on Facebook it's more than a want, it's more than a need I'd shrivel up and die without my many feet 
take a look. You will look on Facebook. Take a look on Facebook, book, 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 book. I wouldn't call myself a Facebook currently has over three hundred million active users users that have returned to the site in the last 30 days. Facebook was founded by a Harvard undergraduate student and was initially created for college students only. Since Facebook was founded in 2004, it has spread from colleges and universities to high schools. Once it was adopted by the high school students, parents and teachers started to register and create profiles. Facebook was then adopted by companies and organizations to promote their products and services by means of a Facebook profile. As Facebook grows in users and popularity, there is an increased dependency on the social networking site. The average Facebook user has 130 friends on the site. More than 8 billion minutes are spent on Facebook each day, with more than 45 million status updates. Notifications, messages, and invites reward you with an unpredictable high, much like gambling. That anticipation can get dangerously addictive, causing media systems dependency. The following are signs that you may be dependent on Facebook. Personal relationships are taking a back seat to Facebook. You think about Facebook even when you're offline. You use Facebook to escape problems or homework. You stay on Facebook longer than intended. You conceal Facebook use. Did you just think they looked cute in their picture on Facebook? Tweedledee, Twitter pals! Today's gonna be a Twitterific day! Hi, Craig. Uh, Retweet, Craig. Retweet, Craig. Craig! Today's, Today's gonna, gonna be a Twitterific, Twitterific day. day! I see you've got some Twitter followers. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, three followers, uh, kind of blowing up. <laughs> I'm on my way to becoming just like my hero, Ashton Kutcher. At Craig, tweet it up, bro! Follow Craig, pound Craig! At Craig, tweet or die! I am a god to these twits! Okay, superstar, I think it's time to take a hard look at what the Twitter sphere has become. Let's go! Yes, I love the smell of Twitters in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it smells like childish desperation mixed with Hollywood narcissism. Hey, everybody, follow Perez Hilton, please. <laughs> I need attention. Come on, people. P. Twitty's telling you to log in and follow my tweets. Log in. Oh, I'm so locked in, Twitty. One million followers. I beat CNN. I'm more important than news. <gasps> You're more important than anything, Asakusa! Twitter was developed in 2006 as a program for microblogging. Microblogging, a form of multimedia blogging that allows users to send brief text or micromedia updates or short bursts of inconsequential information. In September 2009, it was recorded that worldwide visitors of Twitter had reached 58.4 million, which translates to a 949% increase from a year ago. This increased interest in Twitter has resulted in the addition of TwitVids, the easiest and quickest way to share videos on Twitter from your phone or computer, TwitPix, a way to share pictures on Twitter, and terminology such as Twiz, Twittersphere, Twittastic, Twitcrastination, and Tweetheart. Society has become so dependent on Twitter, there is a worldwide panic every time it is overloaded, causing users to wait to post new tweets. <gasps> Fail, Will! No! Oh, snap! Fonzie's coming! 
Me. Lock in, people, lock in. <laughs> Fonzie, what is this? What is this? Holy oh no, it's the Twitter apocalypse. Hey. Most companies and media outlets have a Twitter page, which you can usually find scrolling across the bottom of the screen during commercials or broadcasts. Because of their large following, Twitter has become an advertising phenomenon for businesses, celebrities, and even employers and job seekers. Having a Twitter account has almost become a necessity. It's okay, Darren. It's all right. Everything's going to be okay. We'll sign you up for a Twitter account. Everyone follow Darren! Direct message at Darren. I still like pickles. At Darren! Welcome to Twitter. 